All right, check this out. Here we have a MSI GE66 with an 8 core i7, the RTX 3070, and a 300 Hz Full HD display. Now this video will demonstrate three different performance settings for Cyberpunk 2077, and I'll explain the results. Starting with the default graphics settings, maxed out field of view, and I'll remove motion blur, just a personal preference here. Test number one will have ray trace graphics with DLSS on balanced. This scene is fairly complex, and our 8-core i7 is running near or at its 60-watt limit when combined with the NVIDIA graphics card. Take note of the GPU saturation falling below the ideal maximum, which is near 100%. DLSS reduces the default resolution and then upscales it. This can often make your CPU have to work harder. Now we'll take this same scene and remove DLSS, so we're running a demanding load on the GPU. The image improves slightly over DLSS, and our frame rate is nearly cut in half. Our CPU is pretty relaxed as it runs near 20 watts, allowing the RTX 3070 to dynamically boost to 130 watts. This lower than desired frame rate performance is ultimately why DLSS exists in the first place. Now let's remove DLSS and get a standard non-ray trace footage. Our frame rate is higher in this scene compared to the other two at the expense of eliminating ray tracing. Here's where things get entertaining. Let's take all three settings and walk them through the city. The top and bottom footage will showcase a CPU bottleneck. As our CPU maxes out at 60 watts, it's not enough to feed the GPU in this scene, and reduced GPU utilization occurs ultimately limiting the potential frame rate performance of this 125 watt RTX 3070. Of course you can tweak settings till you strike the right balance. This may be part of the fun for you. We're covering three main aspects in this video. Your perception of ideal is for you to tweak and enjoy. With this hardware, in order to enjoy Cyberpunk 2077 at Full HD 60fps without a CPU bottleneck, we'll either need a CPU that's far more advanced than what is available today for laptops, or a GPU that's twice as fast, then turn ray tracing on and DLSS off.